Just some of the strongest people you'll ever meet in your life, man, some of these refugees. Like, take my dad, for instance. My dad was part of the Kurdish Peshmerga forces, right, that was fighting against Saddam's regime all throughout the 80s, man. This guy is a man that's been injured in battle. He got mustard gas poisoning and lost half a lung, right? This is a man, this isn't a man that you could rebel against. When I misbehaved when I was younger, I was scared as hell of him, of him you know? Like, he'd look at me and go, you think you're special? <laughs> no, you think you're special? I can get rid of you and make another one tomorrow. Shut up. <laughs> Crazy, my parents set the bar very high for me, right? I remember I came home from my GCSEs with nine A star to B grades, right? Nine, whoo, that was not his reaction, okay? Like, this is, my dad looked at me like I was a failure. He looked at my grades and was like, okay, B, what is B? It's like, dad, B, B means average. Hmm. I'm not stupid. <laughs> B, B means bad. My like, dad, what are you on about? Like, uh, look at the positives, focus on the A star. Should have been A star star. <laughs> We're talking about that. They don't even make that. If you were smart enough, they would have made it for you.